welcome to Gunda Tutorials. Today we build a shipyard. And yeah, you can see it here. It consists of mainly two parts. The first side and the other side. In the middle is some place for ship where you can build up your ship in a yeah, rather try it out space. And if this ship is finally finished, you can open the doors here and yeah, it's just swimming away. Um, I will separate this tutorial into two parts. So the first one will be a basement here and this first building over here. And the second one will be yeah, this kind of ship thing and then the middle part and the right part here. So, um, I would say we just start. Hey, let's just jump to our tutorial place. And I've cleared up some area here. Oops, that should be fine. And yeah, let's now start, uh, start with the basement. For that, I will start at the back. So this will be the back. And I guess for demonstration purpose, I will build it with a height of three. So my fundament is a height of three. It will be going deeper down where the ship is. But yeah, for that, for the showing purpose, that should be fine. Okay, so this is the first pillar. Um, now we make the first segment with the size of three. Then another one with the size of three. So always make these um, pillars here with a distance of one in between. And then one more segment with just a distance of one in between. Then we turn around, have here another segment with a distance of three. Um, turning one more time around. And then we have two more segments with a distance of three. Like that and that. And um, that's it. For this side, then we turn around. Here we have a distance of three as well. Like that. Then we turn around. And now we can build all the way back a long row of the stone brick. And build here a pillar. Then we can connect these two parts. Also add here these pillars. So, um, same holes for in between here. Just make a pillar in with a distance of one in between, create space. And then at this spot here, we then have the door. Um, but we will make that later on. Let's go back to this side. Um, here we'll build a back wall. And that's three sequence with a distance of three in between. So one. Two and three. Also make these pillars. They are everywhere. Okay, and then we can turn around and build the other side. Here we also can go to the front where this other spot ends. So this is uh, that's the point here. This segment here has a size of six in between. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, depending on the pillars, there's one here with the distance of one in between, another one here, and in the middle are two free spots. So here we go just back. Um, how long that will be, will be part of the next, of part two, this tutorial. So just leave it the way it is at the moment. And we just try to focus on this side now. First of all, we could um, take cobblestone and fill here the space where it's empty with cobblestone. Just like that. So yeah, some 3D or some some space behind it. It looks a bit better, right? So and now you can go on and maybe, for example, take your um, welded it and fill it with cobblestone. OK, 
Okay, afterwards you could replace some of its cobblestones with gravel, for example. But yeah, maybe that will be part of the details. So for the house, um, we built the first the floor is just a normal um, thing. So we have here one segment with a distance of three, like here. Um, Ah, wait, 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 sorry, 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 wrong spot to begin. We have here two segments with a distance of three and one segment with a distance of one in between. And the house starts right here. So you have a small offset in here. But the rest should be just fine. Here we don't have a pillar in the middle. Then we can turn around and have here two segments with a distance of three in between. Here at the back, the same. And yeah, here at the side, also the same. Okay, so it's quadratic in theory. Well, um, then for the next floor, we can... Um, adhere just... Oh, let me just jump back to be absolutely sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, well. So we can build here one more segment with a height of four, which goes up to that point and here further. So it seems that this house here is really basic. Just increase the segments here up to a height or to the next floor height. Um, just like that. But now the special thing is coming in. And that's that we have here this tower extension. So we built here around one row of locks. And that will be sequence of five in between. Also the same holes for this side. And then you can just delete that lock here. This as well. And that should be fine. Now we correct it from above. Uh, from under it. So it looks like that. Okay, perfect. Um, what you have seen now is that we have here around this small part already our first roof. So we grab um, spruce wood stairs and birch wood stairs. And yeah, it's just a normal roof here. Goes, I guess, up to that point in front of it. The first row is made out of birch wood, all other rows are made out of spruce wood, and also this last row here is one more time made out of birch wood. So it's just a normal roof here, nothing special about it. So you can just build it straight forward. Okay, well, um, don't forget that these these stairs under the at the back at, or at the at the sides. Mm, I have to look how I have to finish here this stuff, but yeah, for the moment that's just fine. And um, what we do now is to extend this floor here by one more layer. Um, here you can go go now or also to the inside. It should be also fine, like that. And then just to be, su uh, to be sure, I have added, okay, that's good. That's good, that's good, that's also good. Ah, maybe, wait, I can already look here what happened, okay. Perfect, so let's go on. Um, I added to this tower here one more segment, but just with the height of two. So that we have one block in between. And now um, you can start with the roof. And for that, we have here in the middle, it's made out of spruce wood. 
And now I have to remember what was it? Okay, here at the at the at the corner we use birchwood like that. Then we go around with the spruce wood, just in the corners we use birchwood. Like here and here. That's made all around the whole building. Um, down here you can go and look from upside down and place these stairs just like that. The same is made on all other three sides. Yeah, this one maybe it's a bit more difficult. Maybe you can go from the inside. Should be also fine. And here the very same. Ah, damn it. Okay, perfect. Now we can easily add another row to the front here. Just like that. Um, I think we didn't do anything wrong, but I have to look one more time if it's correct what we have done so far. So well, we made these two very two floors and we built up this tower thing and yeah, we are perfectly fine. Now we have just another of these rows. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay. What we add now is here another row of staircases. In the corner here we have three built ones. And then in the middle three spruce, uh, spruce blocks. Uh, going all around the tower. Okay, so for the next layer we have now combination of planks and staircases. So in the corner it's still um, built foot. Um, I guess here in the middle we can make planks of the dark wood thing. Um, and then we can place here Staircases like that. Probably here at the corner we can exchange them by built versions. So, and also we could do. Maybe we have to fix a bit more, but for the moment that's just fine. In the middle we add one more plank, and then I think we can add the top of it another row of planks in the bit version and then place one staircase on top of it and yeah so that could be the roof for the tower or you can put maybe a, a fence on top of it that should be also fine and then some flag whatever you want well, uh, the building looks a bit naked so far, so we have to fix that. Um, to do this, we use... Uh, whew, what did I use? Okay, just uh, blanks. But, as you have seen in other tutorials, you could also use um, any clay version like for example the brown stained clay I think that would also be fit and uh, would also fit very nicely so that shouldn't be a problem um, here in the middle we have this big entrance thing for that we need um, also the staircase and I guess also the slab so let me see if we make it like that Um, yeah, for example, that could be the entrance, so you have big space to enter. For the other walls, yeah, just fill the missing walls here in. That shouldn't be much trouble at all. 
And yes, as mentioned, you can also use um, clay for this task. It's totally up to you. The white stained clay, for example, fit very well as well. Oh, don't forget the windows in it. Um, up here, you can now extend this timber downwards. Maybe connect it here because this will be a back knee. So for a small difference we could use here the jungle wood slab and build a floor with the balcony here. In the corner and for example here you could make a lock lock and then connect it by fence like this. And yes, what I also did here is to hide this end thing with an uh, trapdoor. Here particularly you could use also um, lock blocks, looks a bit nicer. And here obviously one more time, links, same holds for this side. And also for this side. Here you leave one space for a window and one space for a door. Here at the top, just um, fill the whole area with links. That should be fine. And here's nothing to do. So well, um, let's go outside. Uh, from this side, um, I th yeah, it's open because you have to work somehow on ship and that's the perfect place to do that. So that's also quite fine. What we are still missing here is the staircase. Let me show what I mean. Um, so we have here this staircase which leaves the building at this, this spot and then goes normally upwards and then we can re-enter the last floor. So what we do is we destroy these two blocks that will be the the doorway then we make it like that oh, damn it. <clears throat> where is my okay we use tunnel wood slab here and also the staircase then we make it like that so two steps and then we build staircases upwards so that we end here because you will be um, the way in and then we just could it make like that here in the corners we make upside down or these this direction that's fine and then we could for example make something like that if you want but well, it's it's up to you what you like here better. You could do it like that, or any other combination. Maybe here in that case you don't want a window. Here you could add, for example, also staircase, divide it a bit, something like that. Yeah, that's in your taste what you want here. Don't forget the fences here, for example, here and here. So nobody can jump down and probably dice or fall damage. That wouldn't be fine. So, well, um, that's for the house. As usual, you can now add also flower boxes to it. What you all, uh, uh, also could do is that you take birch wood slabs and spruce wood slabs. Place it like here the distance of one between here. It looks a bit better, I guess. The same for the bigger roof here. Oh, here's some more stacks. Um, you can do that all around the tower. But yeah, that's up to you. That's your business. Not, I don't have to show that. So for this, um, we now make here in the corners, place um, more stone bricks. Then we take the cobblestone wall 
connect and connect it like here. Claymill joined the team. Hello, Claymill. Um, yeah, that should be fine here. And then you have seen this big door. And on this big door, we also have to go a bit more down. So let's see. Um, at the end, we have three of these rows of lock in between. Which you can see. So the height is... What is it? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six blocks down. So you end up like here. To speed that a bit up, maybe also for you a good hind. Uh, just to make it worth well a bit. Let me see. Uh, should be that block. Set air. Yeah. <clears throat> Worked. <coughs> Sorry. So we have here three rows of this block moving all around to that spot. Here you can extend every of these pillars downwards. Uh, you need to do that. So I'll make it quickie. <clears throat> and also here. So um, here in the middle, where is it? Where's the middle? Is it like that? Here you can make these upside down strips. So for example that here in the middle of it, of all that crap here is, is the point where the doors open. And then you could use whatever thank you like here, maybe the dark wood one. It fits because it's yeah really dark and yeah, well yeah, that's that's the reason. Okay, um that's this one and also this one. What you now want to do is to replace here at the back everywhere dirt or, or if it's air the cobblestone. Um, really everywhere. So here, don't forget it to extend it upwards also. Um, Yeah, that's just work, which has to be done. Shouldn't trouble you that much. And here, here, and here, the final one. Uh, what was that? And then extend it upwards to more blocks. Okay, perfect. What else we want to do is... Where is it? Um, where's the cobblestone? Here is the cobblestone there. Add this at the top of this rose. An upside down version. Okay, um, for the floor, you could also take Welded it to whatever you want or don't want and replace it to a stone brick. Um, let me see, is this already what we want to do in this tutorial part? Yes, I guess so. For the rest, I have to look a bit clearer, but yeah. So, um, that was part two. And I hope I will see you in part... What did I say? Part 2? No, that was part 1. And if you liked part 1, then leave a like. And we see you in part 2. Ciao!